Hey guys, we're Evan and Caitlin. And today we're starting our two-part series of our Murphy bed with custom built-ins. So part one is building the Murphy bed cabinet and putting together all the hardware. But first, let's rewind to day one of this project. So here's our guest room, AKA the place where hand-me-down furniture goes to hang out with our 3D printer army. As reluctant as I was to put the 3D printers in the guest room at first, now I think it'd be really nice to use this whole room as an indoor workspace with the option to house guests when we need to. So the most logical answer seemed to be Murphy bed. We love the idea of Murphy beds, but not always the aesthetic. So we thought adding built-ins to either side would make it look less like a big cabinet against the wall. Of course, this video is just the cabinet part, but after we're done, we're also gonna be trimming everything out, adding hardware, all to give it more of a custom look. All right, so the kit we got from Rockler has everything that we need when it comes to hardware. They have the metal parts for the bed frame itself, all of the bolts and slats, but the one thing we need to do is all of the wooden panels. So we're gonna break that down right now and just break down. <laughs> For this build, we're cutting a lot of plywood. It's actually four whole sheets that you see us cutting into strips that we're setting against the garage door here. After cutting out the strips, we then cut them all to length. We wanted to match our built-ins to the trim and the door in here, so we picked up a few whites to see if we could match it. I have no idea how there's so many whites, but we found one called Softly White, so we're gonna go with that. So we got the paint, but the issue now is that there are so many wood panels and we have so little floor space. Literally everything is covered in wood. Now that we've painted everything, it's time to join things together. So we've already marked all of the places where we want to use dowels, and we're gonna use the Rockler dowel joint jig. We're gonna line it up with the lines on both sides. I just realized that like... <laughs> Our stop's a little short, huh? Our stop's a little short. This is how far I want to go in. It's okay, keep going. And then we're gonna drill in to each side of this and add dowels, and that'll help align, reinforce, and strengthen the whole joint. Time to build a cabinet. So this project is sponsored by Rockler and we literally could not have done it without them. The Murphy bed kit is Rockler, the doweling jig is Rockler, our clamps are Rockler. We got our first set, good to go. Our glue mats, glue brushes, our bench cookies, so many Rockler products that made this happen. So be sure to check them out for your woodworking projects. We'll have links below to everything we used. And Rockler, thank you for sponsoring us. This is gonna be interesting and awkward, just like we like it. Did we skip one here? We skipped one. No, no. We skipped Is one. This... Did I stop? Um. Oh. Remember, double check your work before you start gluing. <laughs> go, go, go! <laughs> go, go. Here's the glue. You got it? Yeah. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> Just like we planned. Okay, so we're about to do our next glue up, which is similar in configuration, but this guy is a lot taller than our last one, and we realized only some of our clamps will actually fit across it. So we're gonna do some pocket holes to act as clamps in between the clamps. All right, so we're gonna assemble this Murphy bed in four sub-assemblies. We have the bottom right here, which is all prepped and good to go. We have the top right here, and we have these two side panels. Soon, we're gonna be attaching them all together. We're gonna go ahead and prep the two side panels because it's gonna be a lot easier to transfer this pattern while they're in panel form instead of part of a big box and moving it around is really awkward. Perfect. Template worked as expected. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. 
Everything is prepped. We're gonna build it in place. First up, we're gonna set the top and bottom down on this foam board, which is so incredibly useful. It's great to cut on, it's great to build on, and then we're gonna glue one side down, rotate the whole thing, and then glue the other side down. Can't see the holes. <laughs> oh no. Woefully underfilled. Woefully! I'm gonna rest this right here. <gasps> Not that much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, looking like a thing! I will not drop this on my wonderful wife. This is heavier than I expected. <laughs> I'm working on it right now. Some extra weird. Yeah! Is the lighting okay? It's beautiful. Is audio going? Yes! Are you recording this part? Yes. <laughs> Next, we're gonna put this cabinet against the wall. We're worried about a couple things. It hasn't been the 24 hours you're supposed to wait for the glue to fully set without putting stress on the joints. We're also worried about hitting the fan. Which is a very real fear. But we can't really move forward with other stuff until we do this, so. We're gonna do it. <laughs> you to your side, then I'll ooch my side. And we're gonna lower this back down. Nice and genteel like. <laughs> oh no. Ooh. Ah, oh, no, oh, that's gosh. bad. Wait, should we cut out the trim first? This is my first time using this oscillating tool. There we go, okay. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and score the caulk line and then see if we can pop it off. Oh. Yay! Because we're fancy, we're gonna cut a hole in the back of our Murphy bed so that this outlet can be accessible and we're gonna run that out to built-ins in a future episode. Yeah, next episode. So we're gonna drill out the corners, use the jigsaw to cut everything out, and we're good to go. All right, ready? Okay, come on. Oh, oh. my gosh, it cleared. Ah. It's like getting real. Ooh, ooh, ah. So this part right here is gonna be pretty much hidden, but this one you can see, and it looks kind of unfinished, so I think if we add a trim piece here at the bottom, I think that's gonna make it look a little mm. bit nicer. Let's do it. All right, now it's time for some caulk to seal up any cracks and imperfections. It's time to paint. I don't see much of a difference. It looks so different. It goes from white to white. For YouTube success, you just need dramatic before and afters. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> We're gonna be lowering a heavy bed. We want it to be really safe. So we're gonna mount it into the studs with some really heavy bolts. Let me, uh, so this is a normal screw. That's the lag bolt we're gonna use. <laughs> Time to assemble and bring in the bed frame. Now we just have to lock these in and do more things. So now the springs are compressing. If you let go, it'll just like, yeah. right now this is like. A weapon? A Murphy bed catapult. Oh, don't do that, that makes me nervous. <laughs> oh, Forceful. this is really strong. Do my best. <laughs> go in until these are vertical. Pass this on the ceiling. Hopefully the double-sided tape sticks. <laughs> oh, oh no. You got it right there? Oh no. Go, go, go. Is it level? Yes, yeah, it's level! Woo. So now this is good. Now we get to hang the doors. We need to lift down the door and screw in through the back of them. Yes. So right now we have a big box, which is okay, but we don't want it to look like a big box. We want it to look more like a built-in, especially once we add the cabinets on either side. So we cut primed one by fours and glued and nail gunned them to the cabinet. I feel like we've been working on this project a really long time. A really long time. But it's finally time to paint. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
was like the gnarliest looking. Like a wet dog. Like a wet dog. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for part one of the Murphy bed build. We're excited to do all of the flushing out and the cabinets and all of the trim. We might even add some lights and outlets and everything. That's coming up soon. And if you want to see all the behind the scenes stuff that happened, that happened during this project, you can check that out at our after show at patreon.com slash Ebony Caitlin. See you next time. Bye. Bye. And we're going to use the wrap. <laughs> all right. So this Murphy bed. bed. <laughs> Easy bed. <laughs> So <laughs> We're done. I'm done. <laughs> Are you okay? Did your legs like fly up? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>